Hello AACPS staff and welcome back to the last video in the video layering series in our timeline mode segments here. So what we're going to talk about last for layers is green screen. This is another way to personalize your videos, to have a lot of fun with any tutorials that you create for your students, maybe give them a laugh, have a moment of surprise. Not going to be appropriate for every scenario, but it is a great option to have in your back pocket if you're really trying to make some fun and engaging videos for your students. So first, a little bit of background on green screen. It's called green screen because that is the most common color that is used nowadays. I think somebody decided a long time ago that uh, uh, movie actors and newscasters didn't tend to wear a lot of green, so they could easily put up a green background, remove it, and the people featured in their videos would still have their clothing, their hair. Uh, I, I've seen it described some places that, that green is the color that's selected simply because people aren't green. But really when we talk about green screen, we're talking about a technique known as color keying. And color keying means it doesn't have to be green at all. You can choose any color background or object that you want to remove when you're doing this sort of video. And as long as that color isn't included in other aspects of your video, then you'll get the green screen effect that you're looking for. So anybody can make their own green screen videos if you simply have a colored background behind you that is not also the color of your shirt or the color of your pants because if I'm wearing a blue shirt and I choose to put up a blue background when I remove the color blue it's going to look like I have no center part to my body at all because you're simply going to see what's behind it. So we're going to use some examples of green screen here in this video so that you guys will get an idea of how you could use this in the videos you create for your students. So a moment ago I mentioned that you could record your own, but even if you don't have something ready to go for this, I just clicked on my Wii Video Stock Media menu option here, and I did a search for green screen, and all kinds of stuff comes up. They have rose petals that will gradually blow away so that something can be revealed behind them. They have a somewhat severe looking man pointing to nothing next to him. You could put just about anything next to him. They have somebody who's dancing that could be put in front of or next to other people who are dancing. They even have some things that look like uh, traffic signals or display boards up here. So you can pick uh, what you want to be displayed on this laptop, for example. All kinds of options. Just as we've seen, as we've gotten into the layering uh, portion of this video series previously, we're going to select on something and we're going to drag it down here. And now we need to get thoughtful about whether or not this needs to go into video track two, where I've parked it for just a moment, or whether or not it needs to go into video track number one. Now, when I remove that green screen that's in the center of this laptop right now, it's going to reveal whatever is behind it, or in this case, underneath of it. And that means that I do, in fact, want this to be here in video track two. I want this to be the topmost layer and then whatever I want them to see behind or on the screen is what I'm going to put down here in video track number one. So maybe what I'd like to be here is me talking to my students. Again, a lot of this is about personalizing. So I can take a clip here of me presenting on my webcam and I can put that down underneath. But just as we've come to expect, Once it says go, it's now the only thing that we're seeing on the screen right now is that laptop with the green screen. So we need to do the effect of actually taking away that green screen. So I'm going to click on this video track to clip right here. You can always tell what you're clicked on because it gets that little orange highlight box around it. Once again, I'm going to go to my pencil and we're going to get introduced to a couple of the new options that we see up here. We have the transform and animations, but we have two new options that come in when we're in timeline mode. One of them is just to change the color period. So I could turn this, uh, say, into a black and white video, but the other one is color keying. And remember a moment ago I mentioned we we tend to call it green screen, but really the effect that we're talking about is color keying. So when I click on color keying, I get a very simple option right here. I just have an eyedropper, and what I'm going to do with the eyedropper is I'm going to click on it and take it over here to my player, and then I'm going to click on the color that I want to remove. 
and it's going to remove that color and only that color and that's why it's important that nothing else in this video clip is green say that mouse that she's working in her hand or the phone over on the left hand side of the coffee cup if any of those were also green they would be removed when I removed the television screen so now that I've removed that what I can do is go in to edit my other clip or the one of me talking so that it fits a little bit better. So I'm going to save the changes here. I'm going to come down and select on that second video track, the one in video track one, do the pencil to edit, and then I'm going to go to the beginning or transform menu option here. And we're going to use those same resize handles we used previously when we were looking at options for text and even options to personalize your video with things like your logo or you or an avatar. And I'm going to drag that until I'm happy with feeling kind of centered on that screen right there. And then once again, click Save Changes and we'll play to see what we've got. Once it says Go, it's now capturing my voice and it's capturing what. So hopefully this quick look at how you can use green screen, either recording your own or using some of what WeVideo has for you here, has got your wheels turning about how you could incorporate something kind of fun and special into a video that you make for your students.